what is going on guys, Smooth Racing here back with a brand new video and today we have our F1 2013 Felipe Nazza episode number 4. We have just 3 episodes left and this is number 4 then races 6 and 7 and race 6 is from India in our Ferrari driving of course as Felipe Nazza in our Felipe Nazza helmet. We got 5 lights illuminated above the track then and we are racing in India. We got off the line then from our usual spot of 22nd place. We have Max Chilton and Guido van der Gaard ahead of us. We'll be hoping to make a move on them going down into turn one. And it's exactly what we've done, making up a numerous positions thanks to the um, very early braking of the other cars. Up into P16, can we make more positions? Yes we can. We're going all the way up into the points positions, we're going very slowly and uh, we're holding everyone up now after that massive lunge just because we had nowhere else to go and everyone else but very early but anyway let's move on then as we are now in p9 we've gone slamming straight into the back of Weber. he broke very early and we've also let him back through but we've also let Gutierrez back through and now Button's going to go around the outside of us and Hulkenberg's going to try and follow but no he's just decided to stop um, off the track and we're right behind Jensen Button now can we make a pass going down into turns three and four going to the hairpin yes we have we've made it past jensen button now into the point playing positions and so far of course in the championship we need to win every race and that's looking quite unlikely from this race so far this incident field race as we go down into the braking zone on the inside of esteban gutierrez and now we just we, we were very clumsy into there just hitting the bollard button's now going to have a go he's made it past us after we were you know hit the bollard of course we are starting on the prime tires as you notice just to make this cream out even harder and we have made it around the outside of Jensen Budden but we did tap him we've gone through the Rolex and now we're going to be letting him back through but we've also let Bottas back through as he was right tucked up tucked, tucked up under Jensen Button. and here we are I'm now in P11 right behind Valtteri Bottas can we make a move going down into the final corner we'll have to see try and get a good entry we have tapped him again they're very slow out of the corners the AI especially on season challenge which of course is what I am on just because you know longer career modes get boring and um talking longer career modes watch out for career mode in 60 seconds coming soon anyway you can see then Kimi Raikkonen has actually gone off we set the fastest out right Manchester we're going to go down into breaking zone in down into turn one and we have made the move and that's pretty much how fast my commentary is in um her career mode in 60 seconds but he's actually coming back at him sorry it is coming back at us but we have broke that bit later and a bit too late now but um we should yeah we have made the move now on jensen button up into eight position can we get back past esteban gutierrez and the mexican this is where it all went wrong for us as we hit the ball up but we have managed to stick it around the outside can we make the move yes opening the drs we're going wheel to wheel going down into turn one but we've already made the move just a reminder we've got no setup on and of course on the prime tires just to make this um a lot harder on the medium tires but yeah white strap mediums but yeah that's how we finished them we just couldn't quite catch Weber. we didn't really have the pace or we didn't really have you know the length of the laps but we come home in p7 we can't win the championship pretty much now which is a big shame but um you know we've still got a lot to fight for in this cream mode and some very exciting races coming up including the live commentated finale in um i believe brazil and you can see rosberg won from Vettel, me and fernando alonso sorry not me um from our teammate you can see the drive standings, Alonso leads from Hamilton, Rosberg, Vettel and Felipe Nasa, 57 points behind. And we're moving swiftly on now to um, the next race. We've got five lights in, out and away we go. We are now racing. Can we make a move past Gid around the Garden Max Chilton again? <laughs> I've arrived at the back unsurprisingly. In a very, very wet Suzuka. Um... Suzuka in the rain, I'm sure you all know, is very, but definitely one of the toughest tracks as we're barging our way through up into P20. Can we get around the outside of peak as we moved up now into 19th place past Van der Gaard? The question is, can we get his teammate? We'll have to see. Going around this very tight section, so easy to um, go off the road, as you can see there. We've fallen a bit behind now. Van der Gaard has managed to get past us, but we'll be going around the outside of him and possibly Bottas. And yes, we have now. We're up into P18, going on the outside of Charles Peak, and we got the Frenchman of John Verne up ahead. Can we get past him? But that is a that is a wonderful line from us. Um, I'm not sure how that wasn't a legal overtake, but um, nonetheless, we are up into P16 now, and we have to be very aggressive if we want to win this race. And that's exactly what we're doing at this corner because we've actually barged our way through 
barged the Force India out of the way. The Sauber of, um, I believe that was Gutierrez, just whacked into the side of us. But nonetheless, we are up into 11th place. And on the right on the back of 10th place, Romain Grosjean in his Lotus. And you can see then at 130 out, we have Ram wide. But now can we make a move just like Senna tried on Prost? Yes, we can. We made a move into that final chicane. Definitely my favourite corner on the track. Short, closely followed by turn one, which we're coming up to now. But we have managed to um, pull alongside Nico Hulkenberg and looking like we've definitely made the move done there. As we are now open to P9, he's backed out of it. We're really nearly pushing on onto the grass as we fly down into turn one, right on the back of Mexican Sergio Perez driving for the McLaren team. Let's try and get past him. Then we've got a full bar of curves to use at our desire and we're right behind Perez then can we make a move just trying to get the right line we've tapped him um like I said slow slow out the corners but um we have made that move stick we've gone into the gravel and now Perez has got past and we nearly slid and took Perez Perez, Perez out but luckily for Sergio and um, we didn't quite take him out and we're coming to this corner with the AI break there and then I can just break that a lot later I even hit Weber because I don't know what he was doing why he was breaking so late obviously held up by Jensen Button and um, that's pretty much why I start on the prime tyres in most races but anyway we, shouldn't, we can definitely win this race I think lap 2 and we're really making great progress through the field and we got past Jensen Button can we make a pass Kimi Raikkonen on the wet tyres going down into our favourite corner um, well not our favourite corner but um, a very easy corner to overtake the AI and a lap later at the same corner as we've gone purple through sector 1 Going down into breaking zone, we've got past Hamilton and we're going to be pulling side alongside Fernando Alonso. We've made the move stick, we've gone purple in sector two. Going down into final chicane, can we make a move on Sebastian Vettel as well as Nico Rosberg? But luckily for us, Rosberg hasn't taken us out and we have made it past him. But he's seemed to, seemingly going to come back at us. Can we make a move at Sebastian Vettel? Yes, we can, but we've run a bit deep. We kind of risk everything. We're going to be running wheel to wheel as we go up. And um, he's given us a little tap and a little bit, a little bit of contact, but we can just sweep it around the outside, and um, that should have been the made uh, the move done, but it isn't as Vettel has got past back past us again. But we have got a full bar of curse to use if we need it. It is there if we need it. Can we make it past the German four-time world champion compared to the rookie Felipe Nasr? He never think he never thought he would be fighting up for the win in um, his debut season. But anyway. Can we get past him now, going down into the breaking zone? Can we make it? Yes, we can. We've gone down the inside of him, and we seem to have made that move stick. And we've put a wheel on the grass, and that has allowed Vettel to come back at us. So this is an epic battle for the lead. Um, we're just making a mistake, and um, a bit of an ambitious move. But surely up here we can get him now. And it's going to be so close. Will they make contact? Not quite. Gone into the breaking zone. We've made the move. We've taken the win. Felipe Nasser scores the Japanese Grand Prix victory a fantastic win to beat Lewis Hamilton in his Mercedes and I can confirm we will take the contract so in the next episode be sure to watch out for that because we'll be driving um, our first race in our Mercedes just to basically take out one of our championship drivers Lewis Hamilton and um, also to jump in to the constructor um, leaders and now you can see them are 44 points behind Fernando Alonso, but sadly with only two races to go, it's looking very, um, our chances of winning title are looking very slim. But anyway, I've been racing and I really hope you've enjoyed this episode of Felipe Alonso Career Mode. Episodes 5 and 6 will be coming within the week. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.